Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning. I am Frozen Melon, and today we'll be to on with our Warrior Arena run. I said it is strange. I said for some odd reason, when I think I get good quality decks that have some good late game focus, I seem to lose a lot of the early games more often to like aggro decks that just have really good card quality as well. So I don't know what is going on with the matchmaking, but yeah, I'm not having the best time of it. But anyway, oh, let's just jump into the next one. Get us! Okay, another priest. So hopefully, I can out aggro them. Yeah, we're tossing this entire hand. I just can't accept that hand at all, and I do get a 2 drop and a 4 drop for my trouble, so that is at least better than nothing. But yeah, I mean, sort of playing with Arena and playing through Constructed kind of reminds me of why I quite liked Arena so much when I started playing Hearthstone to begin with. I mean, I don't mind the Constructed formats, and it's why I kind of also prefer to play Wilds in compared to the standard ladder climb, is the fact that there's just so much more possibilities of things happening. It makes the game more interesting. The only downside to Arena, in my opinion, is the fact that I can't really play around everything. So there are going to be games where I just literally have no chance of winning, just because of a mistake that I didn't even realise I made. We'll gain the armour here. I need to draw the card, so... Gain the armour now, while I've got nothing else to do, is better than doing nothing and just armouring up. Once upon a time. So my opponent seems going for a late game play, which means I should be as aggro as I possibly can. Good news is, by the looks of it, I can curve out quite nicely. I've just got to hope they don't have uh, other particular cards. So that for me is dying, because I can't afford not to kill that. Yeah, or can I not? I'm getting 3 health isn't much of an issue. Yeah, it might be. A charming composition. No, that could be good. Might need the removal. It does trade for this, which they know it's kind of a bad way to make the trades. But it ensures they don't heal too much with like the coin, because that's 3 health. Straight away, which kind of nullifies all the early game tempo I've had just by them playing a coin, which is what they're more likely to do anyway this turn. What are they doing here then? Okay. So three and three is fine here. Very unusual, those are quite like semi aggressive cards to start playing. But this is kind of one of the reasons why I hit the discover mechanic that's going to pop up now. Is my opponent could be like a really aggressive deck and just throw in a few discover cards and they've got a good opportunity to get really good late game. And that's why I find it frustrating. Because how I'm meant to play around that sort of stuff. Uh, we'll play this now. Just end turn. Because there, there's no way of doing it, and it can be sort of that point where they just seem to re like curve out really well. So that is a good example of what I'm talking about. They should make the trade here. Discovering a spell, we'll use this one first. Uh, I'll pick the Coerce up, because I'm going to need some removal, I believe. What 
What's the nine mana play? Okay. Again, I will see what we discover here. Um, I have one, two taunt minions, which technically gives me uh, what? There are me four sevens, both of them, or I can make one a seven ten. Two four sevens in one turn is a lot better. And I might get something else on it as well, so I'll pick that up. Uh, we will just coerce that. I will then play out... That there. Yeah, I've got to have more on board. So, I do have other taunt cards, I believe, don't I? Yeah, one... This being a good example of when to play one of them. But I believe I should play this while I got the opportunity. Do I have 12 damage though is the question. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, only 6. So we'll hit this first. See what we draw. Okay. I can't trigger it this turn. Which probably means I need to at least play a big minion. And now there's a reason why I'm not attacking into this. The reason is, is I still kill it with my 6-9. Sorry, 9-6. And it prevents from getting like a free trade on stuff. So again, this is the reason why I held this in hand, so I can just do this this turn. Uh, we're hitting that now. Is this going up to a 7? It's just going to be a lot better in the long run. So those will both die to it. This is 7-9, so this will survive. No armor. And now I've got some like really good cards coming in my way. So like they trade, trade, heal that. This goes into there. If they try and clear the board some other way or silence stuff, then that's fine. How have they got this sort of deck going? I do not know. Yeah, they should make the trade here. I don't have any other drops, but I should do this, this into that. Now they're gonna do really well to play a nine mana card again. I'm just going to play this into this, and they're going to be much... So, yeah, they'll play that into that, and it'll be very sad. <laughs> oh, great. They've got another late-game dragon card. To say there is the thank god I've got some big stats on board. They break so easily. Uh, five. I don't have another five card, but I can play. Actually, I'm. So this seems a bit unusual. You love my new recipe. But I turn that to an 8-3. It still dies to my taunt, but it means they can't kill the taunt. <laughs> so I've got to have more 
um, other options to do stuff, which hopefully... There we go. Jimmy, how did you know that that's what they were going to do? No idea. Just had a feeling. Probably should have just gone into the 8-8 there, but I want to try and get as much value out of my cards as I can, because I'm starting to run low. I have one spell, two spells... Three spells, technically. Um, yeah, we'll play this. It's frustrating, but I need the extra spells off this. I can't just play it out. A charming composition. Yeah. Uh. Oh, great, grand. You know, fan. Bloody fantastic. Magic is not a. This is all I'm going to say now is this is completely unfair. Like, there's not much I can do about it. Um, hitting that is the best idea. Now, admittedly, admittedly, I do have a Dragon's Roar on the deck, which could give me some good stuff. Oh, that's fine here. I mean, I'm trading into... I'm getting to the point where I will be getting those cards. Another big dragon in hand as well, so I have a good chance of actually kind of coming back from this game. But yeah, discover cards are uh, what's frustrating. Um, I got a draw. Good. I mean, it's not the best. I'm pretty much done here now. Because that draw order was an absolute nightmare. A charming composition. So everyone, if you want a fun game, um, there's a few things you can count in this game. How many Alex Strauss are played? Uh, how many Discover cards my opponent has discovered? Because I'll tell you now, that really does show the difference in just the amount of value they've generated compared to what they've thrown away as well. You've got me fired up. Because it wasn't for the Discover cards, I don't think they'd still be in this game. Now, they've only got... <laughs> this game isn't going to last long enough for me to start making trades. They can't get through the tournament, which is the main thing here. 
at the moment anyway. They've probably got a spell that'll do it. But I've got to start pushing damage face. Oh, that can hit all their minions. Oh no, it just hits mine. Why do we even bother? <laughs> uh, that's just game from there. Like, like, out of all the players I came across in that one particular game, I come against a dragon priest that has a way to leverage the Alex Stras that they randomly get. And what's more frustrating is the fact that I didn't even play that game badly. Well, I played that game the best I could, and I still stood no chance because of a random card. But at least that cheers me up there. Let's see what we get as our random legendary. Every turn when you play, each turn costs zero. Hmm. I don't know if it's a problem card or not, but I could think of some ways to make the uh, make this broken. We shall see. Like Rogue could do something with this. Yeah, Rogue definitely could. Anyway, if you do enjoy the video, do leave a like, subscribe to see more, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.